Cole showed up to hear the governor speak about the flood damage in their community and ask questions about what to do next. And as Nancy just mentioned, some shared their frustration with the amount of time that it took the governor to survey the damage. LAX 18's Catherine Collins now tells us what they're hoping for as this long road to recovery is just beginning. Faces in the crowd, all wondering where to go from here. Give us relief because these people need a dry place to sleep. Barbara Bashaw says her home was spared by the flooding, but her Carlisle based business was not. Still, she says she's more concerned with those who've lost everything. All their furniture sitting out on the street, you know, no food, no clothes. Their cars couldn't go anywhere, no electronics, nothing. She says she knows people who continue to live in condemned homes because they have nowhere else to go. She made sure her voice was heard Tuesday as the governor spoke after surveying the damage. I was sad it took five days for him to get here. But I was really happy that he's going to look at these insurance companies. Bradley Trussell says his entire home had to be emptied after the flooding. Every now and then I got to walk away and get a little emotional. Try not to let my kids and stuff see it so they don't get this tore up. He was glad to see the governor and other state leaders visit, but he still has so many questions. I, I really don't know. <laughs> This is a loss for words. And that feeling of not knowing what to do now, where to get help, was echoed by many. Governor Bashir says FEMA will visit Thursday. He encouraged people to get in direct contact with his office. But Trussell says this could be a long road to recovery. It may take five or six, seven, eight months, whatever it takes. But I think everybody will be back to some kind of normalcy. But he says he has faith that the faces in this crowd will all be here to support one another. In Nicholas County, Catherine Collins, LEX 18 News.